Oh, fuck. I'm getting fucked. All right, so here's the deal. I don't know what number this is, but the moving company texted me today and we're like, can wait to see you on the 16th. If you've been watching these videos, you know I've been pointing to the calendar and saying, no, it's the 17th. Well, here's what happened. I asked them specifically, is it easier for you guys to do work on a weekend or a weekday? And they were like, a weekday. So I'm like, great, let's set up for Monday the 17th. And they were like, great, but we need to have like a window so that we could adjust in case another job runs late. Like if the rain or something holds them up and they have to delay a day, they can move my date. And I'm like, that's fine. And for some fucking reason, Instead of it being the 17th or the 18th, 19th, 20th, it became the 16th or the, to the 24th, like this giant window. I'm like, that's great. I'm free. I can do anything I want. So now it's the 16th. And I'm not ready for the 16th. It, today was the 14th. Now it's after midnight. So it's actually the 15th. So my brother and cousin will be here at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's, it's currently midnight plus. Um... I was really, really counting on that extra day, like the day between my cousin and brother helping me, and then I'd have 24 whole hours of staying here and just getting everything ready for the movers. Take the table apart. Uh, let's see, what was I gonna do? Take the table apart, return the locks to their normal position, uh, make sure my bed was taken apart because I just have to take my fucking bed frame apart. That was all going to be happening on the 16th. You know, the day before the moving men. But guess what? And you see, I even drew, I even drew the fucking line. 16 through 20, 16 through 20. That was the, that was the fucking range. But this was the day, but then they moved it here and they told me about it here. That's not cool. If they would have told me about it here, I could have adjusted, but they told me about it here. So now I'm fucked. So basically the, the, the problem is, is the bed has to be destroyed. I gotta pull all these panels off. I built one of the 30 by 30 by 25 boxes. Finally, the big monsters I got from Amazon. Because those are 30 inches exactly, and if I take them all off, I could put them in here, and then I could just throw fucking clothing on top of it, and the moving men get this giant fuck off, fuck you, stop fucking with me box. I closed up the 24 inch box. There's a box filled with things that are just 24 inches long. Uh, mats and rulers. I was amazing how much stuff is two feet long in my house. It was great. All that pew pew stuff will go tomorrow. I got a place to secure that so at least I don't have to fucking moving men. Hey moving men, just move this shit for me. Nah, nah, nah. But I haven't done anything in the bathroom here. Well, not, that's not true. I filled the tub with soft things. So the bathtub is fucking all this is for them to take. And everyone's like, vacuum bags, vacuum bags, they're so much better. And I've used them and they're basically one time use. Because as soon as you undo them and then put them in a thing and fold them, they just never stay. And they're not wasting the money. So they're just going to have to deal with fucking soft bags. My artwork, I'm... So here's the deal. Um, I may have to come back after the moving men, which is now here because I still have the rest of this month that I rent the apartments. Like, these are still my apartments until this is over. There, there might be your landlord stopping by to check things out or fix things, but I still can come back here at any point. By the way, there's where my internet is being installed. Like, the internet was run. I called them, when did I call them? I called them the 13th of July. It took them one whole month to run the cable across the property. But then I'm like, oh great, is that done? When can you install the service? Can it be like the next day? And they're like, nah, bro, the 25th is the earliest. So I'm gonna have a nine day vacation from the internet, except for whatever's on my phone. <laughs> so that's another fucking thing. And I like Service Electric. They seem pretty fucking decent, like as far as people. They just don't have enough. So my artwork, I'm trying to imagine what I'm doing tomorrow. Because tomorrow I have brother and I have cousin. Now brother's gonna take my little white car, he's gonna fix the tire and drive that up, fill it with whatever we can fill into it, which is mostly gonna be garage stuff. And then cousin's bringing his envoy. I forgot what GMC truck he's got, but it's, it's big enough. This is all moving men. All this is moving men. Um, the cabinet's moving men, but the things in the cabinet, probably not moving men. This is another problem. 
uh, Brandon, if you're watching, thank you for bringing me cardboard boxes, but now I need to get rid of these fucking cardboard boxes. Oh, another fucking deal. So I, they're going to take the plastic cabinets. They're the metal cabinet and the plastic cabinets. I have to get rid of all these cardboard. I'll probably have to cut them up, fold it, and just say... That's another thing I'm going to have to come back to the apartment to do. To i got to dump out this closet. Like, this closet is still packed with stuff. There's stuff up here that I might do tomorrow. But then there's, like, my rims and the subwoofer. Those are going to the, with the moving men. So I gotta pull them out. I'm not gonna say, yeah, get that. I'm gonna have them out here. I just wanna be able to point to the room and say, this stuff goes. I'm assuming everyone's a fucking monkey and no one understands a goddamn word. God damn it! I just saw it. I just saw, oh God, fuck. These are for the speakers that are already in the house. There's the ARC microphone. So now I gotta figure out where to put this so that I'll know where it is. Yep. I've been doing this a lot too. I want to tell you, I want to tell you all about madness. Um, moving is madness. And I thought I could get my brain around it. I'm a pretty smart guy. I'm pretty, I can, I can adapt and overcome. And um, you have this plan. Everyone has this plan. I could outsmart the move. I'll just do this and this and it'll be great. But then at some point, Chewbacca, at some point, your whole like, oh, I'll just sort. I was gonna do boxes by the space. So if something's over here, that's an entire box and I know it's there and that's it. But then that box has like that much empty space on top and you got some shit over there and you don't wanna do a box for that. That doesn't wanna be like that much of a box. So you put that shit in this box with that stuff and then it's sort of full, but it's not really full. So you're like, uh, I'll just keep throwing more stuff on it. So, you just keep filling boxes. And now, great. Now I have boxes with stuff from everywhere. Get in there. Like, I don't know where it's from. Like what I just did. Like, th this is stuff that was on my microwave cart, but there was space, so there's a wa water kettle, and now there's wires. Basically, if you think I've run out of content, or to stream or to put on this channel, don't worry about it because it's going to be a four month epic. What the fuck did I put in this box? Dot com slash fuck slash fuck. Uh, just two fucks. Chewbacca, I know you want to get in the giant box. You're seeing it and it's so big, but you can't. I, I have the other ones here. You can play with these all you want. All my shoes, oh my god. Oh, by the way, I kept the two pairs of boots, I threw everything else away. I couldn't even bring it to the Salvation Army, I didn't have time. I just went, ah, uh, garbage. I haven't even finished going under my bed. I got like canopies and stuff down here. They have to take this mattress in literally tomorrow. Because it's already the 15th, so this, literally, literally, I haven't done any of the food. This is not really a video helping you, is it? I mean, I hope it, it, it's like, ah, moving is easy. No, fuck you, moving is not easy. I thought it was easy, but no matter how much I keep taking there, carload after carload, six boxes in the back seat, stuff in the trunk, front seat, floor, projector, and then like, it's like I've not done anything. Every time I go there, it's like I've not moved. Look at this, it's still intact. Who, how fucking taking this? And when am I disassembling all that? Where does this stuff go? Where, my watch winders, which have no watches because DMS has them. The, my Pornhub shirt, which my friend got me in Thailand because it's made in Thailand. And he's like, I brought this home for you. And I'm like, that's, that's a shirt I'm keeping. All these hangers have to go. Well, maybe those cardboard boxes, if Brandon gave me, I could use one of those for hangers. Then I got long shit. Long shit is the death of moving. Where the fuck do you put this? They don't make boxes long enough for it. These rulers and yardsticks, I'm not gonna leave that shit to the goddamn moving men. What's today? Oh God. I gotta pack my tools. Um, the doors, they're taking this. I, I'm somehow trusting the moving men to take my like $600 saw and not fuck it up. Danny. Danny, give me strength, Danny. I gotta know 
Will I make it through this? There's just, I wanted to take light bulbs. See, that's another thing I wanna, I was gonna strip all these things down because this is a thing, this is like not cool. And I might do it or I might just disconnect it and just leave the track and throw away 30, six, it's like a hundred dollars in track. I'll take all every fixture down, fuck it. Because I need bulbs like you can't imagine I need bulbs. My new kitchen's got like 20 something and they're all incandescent and I'm like, ah, oh, but they won't fit the par 38s. But then I gotta also take these, because these are expensive fucking par 30s. And I'm gonna put those somewhere, probably in my bedroom. There's like real nice lights up in the bedroom, but they're so high, I gotta buy a new ladder or I gotta get one of those suction cup sticks. Ladies and gentlemen, moving is difficult. And if you give yourself a month, that's not enough time. Give yourself, imagine if you were, imagine if I worked a nine to five and I couldn't just go every other day up to the house bringing things. First of all, I, I think I have a lot of stuff comparatively to a normal human being. So it's not like that. Uh, I brought most of the Lego up. Just literally put it into a bin, put it in my front seat, covered it with some clothing, brought it up, reassembled what fell off, and put it in my gallery, it's done. This is gonna have to go tomorrow. Hope the battery's still working, because we gotta retract the thing. So let's see, it's... That's up. We, no, we want... That's down. I, I forget how this works, there's instructions on top. There we go. Let's, let's collapse the crane. This is the sort of shit. And I'm like, I decided I'm leaving all the fire extinguishers. I just spent all the money on fire extinguishers and, you know, fucking fire and smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. It, it's, leave it. I'm a good human being. I want to be a good human. Are you almost done? You almost done? Okay, now we got to do that. This is the exciting part of Z Reviews. I love how mechanic, I love how this transfers a motor from back here somehow into the center of this and through to lift the legs up, which I have to do actually. Um, when this goes down, you're excited by this, I know you are. Oh God, and then crank that bitch up. Okay. And then I've got to figure out, there's a, a, a a kill switch here that does that and then that I need I need to see pilot I need light pilot oh, I gotta retract the um these yes 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 that, oh the feet, okay is there. And then how do I make the feet go? I forget. Up, down, left, right, is it not this? Oh, is there another one? It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Neutral, crane arm, feet. Wow, I could've sworn there was two of these. This does nothing. This is this is my, the state of my brain right now. Oh wait. Here we go. Yes, it's over here all the whole time. See, when everything works like it's supposed to, it's wonderful. Thank you, Crane, for working. So there's a motor back here that's transferring motion all the way into a rotating thing and then down to fold just this. Okay. And now we can shut that off. That is as collapsed as this crane gets. God help me. Like that's an entire front seat. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like my artwork, the art, like the, the well that's flat, but there's like canvas. I got a vacuum, like that vacuum cleaner. What am I gonna do with that denki? At least I got this sort of organized. Um, I might, like my IMs are in that bottom box and I'm not worried about them being damaged. I'm just worried about them like falling off the back of the truck. It's quite a few thousand dollars in IMs there. But no one's gonna look. Like, it's not like I'm worried about the fucking moving man going, oh shit, you see what's in here? They're not gonna know what the fuck's in here. It, but if it disappears and I'm like, hey, I'm missing a box, they're gonna be like, oh, ow. I gotta take this off the wall. I don't even think I've taken 
all my winter coats and shit. Well, this is what, you know what? This is what goes on top of that. Because there's no way that's going to fill up with the panels. All right, everybody. I'm, um, oh, the yoga garden classes. I'll leave this here. Pasta used to do yoga. She still probably does, but not with that cool dude pushing her ass down. That, that doesn't happen anymore. Now she has to imagine that. Oh, fuck. It's like a hatchet. Like, what the fuck? Everyone, I'll see you for the next update video, which may or may not involve me covered in blood. Oh, fucking moving. Wait. Uh, wait. First, Ross Scott and um, Game Dungeon has been my savior because I've gone to the playlist and they're like 40 minutes long. And it's just him talking about games sucking and being weird. While well, I do things, has helped tremendously. You may have noticed this. I definitely sprained my wrist at some point in the last four days. Long enough ago that I was able to order this at Amazon, get it, and been wearing it for two. Because lifting shit. I, I can lift things, but I can't pull this way. It just, it hurts like a fuck. So there's that. And um, one last thing. Uh, I put the plastic rolly things for chairs out into the outside because there was it was dank it was dank and it was stinky and dank and then i left them there and then it rained and then it rained and then it rained again and then it rained so now they're in here and hopefully they'll dry the fuck off so i can say moving men take this oh and also since they moved the date up one other thing i forgot is that all of this has to go has to be pulled out and this whole thing has to be defrosted which means it has to be off for like i'm going to assume a full solid 12 hours before they'll actually take it so it can't have any ice in it which is going to be real difficult because we're currently at like t minus 30 hours and then my cousin's showing up and by the time we pack the other stuff in the car you always want to pack this last so we'll pack that into the cooler and then I'll just leave it open and hopefully just maybe put a towel down. I don't know. I gotta pack the food. The food's the scariest bit because I like that's cardboard boxes, I guess. My printer has to come and that printer's like, that printer saved my life. That's my whole business of, of yard sales is that printer. So yeah, um, now we could end it. Also, packing fucking wine uh, martini glasses is a fucking nightmare. I'm gonna put a shirt on now, in case you haven't noticed. Right, Chewbacca? And I can always come back for the stuff in that freezer, because that freezer's staying here. And that fridge is staying here. I'm taking the toaster oven, and I gotta take my colander. And I'm probably leaving the surround sounds. And Gabriel was like, yeah, whatever. And I'm like, great, whatever. Back to Ross Scott sounding like he loves things. Back in the 90s. But during that time, there were two big players. Sierra and LucasArts.